Okay, so what is closing? Closing in marketing terms or sales term means that the lead that you are pursuing eventually makes the buying decision. That is closing. You've been talking to a particular lead for maybe some time and eventually they made a decision to take a risk and buy your product or your service. That is closing. Now let's take a step back and look at some of the steps that has led to that closing. I want you to realize that about 30% of all your leads, you might be lucky, it might be 50% or more, are going to, but let's put a magic number, 30% are probably going to be the ones that are going to really, really buy from you, even after all the marketing and the activities that you have done, follow-up activities that you have done. So it is important that you bear in mind that you need to give them, propose an offer, show them maybe free trial or something that will want to make them take action. So how do you close? Closing is the last part of the marketing aspect. So the fact that you've been talking to somebody, they might not be convinced whether they really want to buy your product or service unless they desperately need it. So you must make sure that you make every effort to sell them the product. Give them different, maybe offer of discount, offer of free trial. Um, just make sure that you make a very good presentation so that they can eventually make a, a sale. It is, not, it is full ready for a sales personnel to be following up a particular lead. Remember, getting their attention is very difficult. It's very difficult to get their attention. So eventually you'll be making phone calls, you've been seeing, you've been getting voicemails, you've been sending SMS, everything has been, and suddenly they pick the call. That's an opportunity for you to just close there and there. Make sure you close. And the best time to actually close is within the 24 to 48 hours after they indicated interest in your offering. Because after that, they are also making a lot of searches. They want to find out and compare your price with other people or your competitors. So you might actually lose to your competitor if you don't do your own work. So you need to assure them and convince them that they are making the right decision. One thing I want to talk about under this topic is buyer's remorse. You have to remember that customers sometimes have what you call customer uh, buyer's remorse, especially with women, they might buy something in the mark in the in the store, and after like a day or two, they say, "Oh, oh, why did I buy that?" So buyer's remorse is another thing. They might indicate interest that they wanted to register for music lesson, for example, and suddenly they change their mind. They are not, they are not buying any. We have experienced that they are not buying anymore. They will show up. So closing is very important. You need to learn closing skills. So in the next video, we are going to look at some of the skills that you need to have for closing.